we obviously welcome the construction of this uh, so-called low-cost uh, housing, 1,500. But uh, what about those people on the waiting lists who cannot afford to buy? Um, particularly those, for example, on the 1RKB list. The last figure that we have from Hansard is that uh, there are over a thousand applicants on the 1RKB list. So when will they ever be rehoused? I mean, some of these people are elderly, uh, ill health, and we fear that some of them might even die waiting for an allocation. So um, how does government intend to address the question of those on the lists who cannot afford to buy? The argument that the government might uh, put across is that uh, these people, or these uh, young people who will eventually buy, will release government accommodation. But we know from past experience that most of these people live with their parents and will not release any government uh, housing uh, for those on the waiting list. So how does the government intend to rehouse or allocate those on the waiting list who cannot afford to buy? Well, that figure, 1,179 applicants on the 1RKB, you say they're not being catered for. So what is it that you're proposing exactly? The proposal is that government should construct housing for rental, which they're not doing at all. I mean, they did construct a number of flats, over, over 150 for the, for the elderly, which we welcomed. And the elderly did release their homes for those on the waiting lists. But these 1,500 flats which are going to be built in about four or five years' time will mostly be taken up by young people who will not release anything for people on the waiting list who, who won't be able to buy. Two of these estates were initially planned to have been ready by 2018. The date now is 2021. So have you got issues with these delays too? Delays are the problem. I mean, nothing, nothing will be made available in the way of housing for the next four or five years. During that span of time, more people will want to will want to apply for housing. The housing list will get even longer, and uh, we see no no way out of the of the impasse.